Are you okay? So it says, a man travels 360 metres along a straight road. He works, what? He works? He walks the first 120 metres at 1.5 metres per second. He runs the next 180 metres at 4.5 metres per second. He then walks the final 60 metres at 1.5 metres per second. Uh, sketch time. Now, yes, if I'm going to use what we're using here, displacement time graph, aren't I? So I've got my displacement in metres, I've got my time in seconds. The problem is, I don't know my times, do I? So let's have a look. So for the first bit, I do 120 meters at 1.5 meters per second. So my first time will be 120 over 1.5. That's going to give us 80 seconds. Right, let's draw that on the picture. So I'm going up to, so it takes me 80 seconds. Oh no, hang on, we'll get all the times and we know how long it is in total. Uh, second one says it does the next 180 at four and a half. So 180 at 4.5, nine over two. It's going to be 40, is it? 40 seconds. So I'm up to 120 seconds now in total. And then the third one, my time will be 60 meters divided by 1.5. So three over two, uh, 40 seconds. Right. So my total time is 160 seconds. Right, so I can, if I can split this up. So if that's 160, roughly half is 80, roughly half is 40, roughly half is 120. Um, so my total is 360 there, isn't it? So the top there is 360. So that's where I'm going to get to eventually. Uh, right, so we're going to do, let's try and work it out. Uh, if I do roughly 100, uh, no, hang on, Dave. Let's just go with what we've got. So 120 is all right, because that's like a third of that distance, isn't it? So 120, I can kind of guess is about that. And we do that in 80 seconds. So let's do that line to there, about 80 seconds. Then we do the next 180. Uh, so that's going to take us up to 300, isn't it? So 300. And that we're doing 40 seconds, so let's try and suss that out. So 120 across 300, about there is it, I'd say. Zip. That's probably about that. Stand back and have a look at it. So I've got the first bit, I've got the second bit, and then the final bit, uh, I'm doing 40 seconds and I get up to the 360. So I'll try and put a dot in around there. 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 So that's the man. Uh, so then it says um, a woman jogs the same 360 metre route at a constant speed so constant speed is going to be a straight line uh, going up so something like that and they finish at the same time We've got to do a dotted line for this from the start to the finish. And we're going to do this. Oh, that kind of looks right. You've got a ruler, haven't you? So here's the woman. There. Right. At this point here, so the woman's in the lead, isn't she? So the woman's in the lead here because her displacement is higher. At this point here, the man overtakes, so now the man's in the lead because the displacement's higher. So this is the point where they overtake. There. Right. How do we do that? 
Hmm. Let's have a bit of a faff with this one then. With the information I've got. So we know the overtake somewhere between 18 and 20. We know the woman's speed, because that's a constant, isn't it? So the woman's speed is going to be 360 over 160. Oh, what's that going to be? 2.25? According to the completed plan, but it's not me working out. There. Right, so we've got that. Hmm. Hmm. So this will be a time t, and this will be a displacement. So when it overtakes, because that's a straight line, isn't it? That's a straight line graph. So I think for the woman, uh, she's got like an equation for a displacement, which is 2.25 lots of t. So it's just a straight line. Oh, let's have a think of this now. So if we're overtaking somewhere between 80 and 120, that's when the speed was four and a half for the man, wasn't it? So that's 4.5. There. Oh, hello. Uh, no, 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 she looked there. No. Hmm. Let's have a think about that information. Oh, this is properly messing with my head. So I know, let's try and think of an equation. Let's try and get an equation for the man now. So I've got an equation for the woman. Let's think about an equation for the man. And between 80 and 120. Hmm. So I've got the gradient, that's 4.5. I can choose a point, can't I? Because I know that at 120. Now, let's do it at 80 and 120. So for the for the man, so we can make an equal. So what I'm planning to get an equation, got an equation for the woman. Uh, it's just 2.25 d t for displacement. So let's try and try and get one an equation for the man. But between 80 and 120 seconds. So now the gradient is 4.5. And if I use 80, 120, then I've got d minus 120 is 4.5. Oops. So d for distance or displacement, t for time. There. Right. Mm. Make that D equals. So 4.5 T. 4.5 times minus 180 plus 120 is minus 240. God, it's a bit messy this actually. Put these together. It's going to give me. Because the whole point is they're at the same displacement when we cross over. I can make an equation for the velocity at that point. Right, so if I take the 2.25 over, I take the 240 over, that gives me t as 106.7 seconds. Um, yeah, that'll do, won't it? That'll do. What do you reckon about that one then? Try and make the equations because the idea wasn't a displacement, was the same. Proper faffy that to do. Right, sorry about that, everyone.